Buhay! I'm Alfred Agustin Arshaga. I'm the conductor and the trainer of uh, Binyan Symphonic Rondalia, the official Rondalia ensemble of Binyan City. So, nagito po ako ngayon para uh, mag-open ng uh, online tutorial sa pag-aaral tukol sa Panduria. <laughs> so, this is my personal instrument. Uh, what is Panduria? Tingnan natin kung ano ang The Philippine Harp Banduria is a 14-string banduria used in many Philippines' folkloric songs. This instrument probably evolved in the Philippines during the Spanish period, from 1521 to 1898. The Filipino banduria is used in an orchestra of clock string instruments called rondalia. It is in tuned a step lower than the Spanish version. Banduria, also called Manduria, the string musical instrument of the lute family, with a design derived from cithern and guitar. The modern Filipino Banduria has a small, pearl-shaped wooden body, a short neck, and a flat back with six paired courses of strings that are tuned F-sharp, B, E, A, D, G, and hitch to a guitar-like tension bridge. The tuning of the string in fourths gives great facility and uniformity of fingering. The fingerboard has 12 fixed metal frets and the instrument is traditional played in short, hard plectrum. The banduria have three main parts, the head, the neck, and the body. Body, the main part of the banduria. The body is large and hollow on the acoustic to amplify the sound. Neck, the neck sticks out from the body and connects to the headstock. The neck holds the frets and the fingerboard. Headstock. The top of the guitar where the tuning pegs sit, connects to the end of the neck. Pegs, tuner, tuning keys. The pegs, tuner, or tuning keys sits in the headstock and hold one on the end of the string. By turning the pegs, the tightness and the string can be adjusted and the banduria can be tuned. Knot. The knot sits at the end of the neck. It provides ending point for the vibration of the string, so open notes can be played. Fingerboard. The fingerboard is on the top of the neck. The frets are installed into the fingerboard. This is where the string are pressed down to create notes. Frets. A hard metal strip that are installed into the fingerboard on the top of the neck. The frets provide place for strings to end when pressing down with the fingers. Each frets and string represents a musical note. Position markers or fret markers. Banduria often have three white dots inlaid into the fretboard as a visual aid to the player. These markers are usually on the third, fifth, and the seventh frets. Sound hole. It helps sound projection. True, it is a misconception to think it is the main source of the banduria sound. The entire surface area of the banduria, top or soundboard, emanates sounds, with the hole allowing the soundboard to freely vibrate and acting as a sort of escape valve for vibrating air. Bridge. The bridge sits on the soundboard. The bridge helps to translate the vibration from the string down to the soundboard. Tailpiece. 
The string of the banduria is attached at the bottom as well as the top. The tailpiece area secure the string to the instrument at the bottom. Strings The standard banduria has 14 strings. They are typically made of steel. It is a vibrating element that produces sounds in string instruments, such as length of a flexible material that a musical instrument holds under tension, so that it can vibrate freely but controllably. G D E E B F sharp. Okay. So ito po yung EA tuner can uh, can tune guitars, bass, violin, banjo and more. So ginagamit rin ko to para mag uh, tune ng banduria. Uh, so subukan natin kung gaano siya effective, no. So ito yung ating peg 1 para sa string 1. Tingnan natin kung naka-tune siya. So open muna natin yung app. So yan po yung kanyang logo. So, ito na po yung app. So, mapapasin natin na nag-change siya ng keys kasi pag nagsasalita ako, naapektuhan yun doon sa pag-relay effort. So, yan, may nag-message pa sa akin. <laughs> so, okay, so, pag red, sabihin yun, over yung uh, pitch niya, mataas yung pitch niya. Pag yellow naman, mababa siya doon sa uh, tamang pitch niya. No? So, kailangan tumama siya doon sa green. So, then So ito yung ating G string yung sol. Ay dito natin nasa fa sharp siya. So kailangan tayo yung umabot sa G so tataas tayo ng pitch. Okay, so nag G na tayo pero ang color ng ating G ay yellow. So kailangan mag green siya, no? Yun. Oops, nag red tayo. So over tune na siya, no? No over tune. So gawa natin. Ayan, so kulay green siya. Ayan, so na-tune na natin yung ating bandura gamit ang DE tune. Okay, minsan ginagamit ko tong aking digital tuner. Mas uh, malimit kong ginagamit yung digital tuner ko kasi mas uh, accurate pagdating sa pag-tune. So, ganun rin. Same thing rin ng ating uh, app doon sa Android phone ko. Meron rin siyang uh, icon. May arrow rin siya. So, going right to left. No? Pag nasa left yung arrow, yan, explain, wala sa tono. No? So, so, wala. Kulang siya. Pag, uh, pag nandun naman sa right, sobra naman siya. So, dapat pumunta tayo sa gitna para mag-green. Explain, on-tune siya. Okay. Like this. Ayan. Kulang siya. So, nasa may left siya. So, kailangan. Ayun. Ayun. Okay. Ayan. So, green na siya. So, on-tune na siya. So, ayan. Para ito. Wala pa sa na. Ayan. All green na siya. So, ayan naman ang paggamit ng digital tune.
Okay. So, ngayon, magpapalit naman tayo ng naputol na string. So, dito, sa ating second string, ay may naputol na isa. So, kuha ko ng number 1 na string. So, yung number 1 na string ang ginagamit namin sa number 2 string. Pag nababawasan siya. So, una natin gagawa, doon sa tailpiece natin, doon natin ilulusot yung ating string. Then, meron itong, yung tailpiece natin, meron parang uh, metal sheet na naka katong doon sa mga strings. Kasi ito yung nagpaparabend sa string na tumalsik. No? So, para lusot naman natin siya sa ilalim ng ganun. Kuha natin nun. Tapang natin para tuwid. Then, all throughout, ilain na natin yung string hanggang umabot doon sa ulo niya. So, ito yung ulo ng string. Ayan. Kita niya ba? Ayan. So, kailan natin dito. Okay, ito naman, papunta dito. So, ikakabit naman natin ito ngayon doon sa tuning peg. Ito, doon sa kulang na tuning peg na yan. So, lusot lang natin ito doon. Okay, hanapain naman ganang pwesto. Lusot natin dito. Sa babaw. Ayan. Hanapain natin doon sa nut. Tatapat natin kung saan nawala. Tapos, lusot natin palabas. So, ano sunod natin gagawin? Iikot lang natin yung string. Ayan. Ito sa string ng kakabit. Ikot lang. Iikot. 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 Ayan. Pag mahaba na, Madami kang ikot. Nasa inyo naman kung gano'ng karaming ikot ang gagawa. Tapos yan. Tapos pitin niya pataas. Yan. Para mag-lock. So mag-lock yan. Kita niya ba? Okay. Then, ikakat natin yung sobra. Yan. So, ayan siya. Pilipit na yan. Kakat natin yung sobra. sobra. Ayan. So, cut na natin. So, ang so, nagagawin natin ay hihigpitan na natin siya. So, wala kayong winder, ready. Tsagain natin ng kamay. Nakabit na natin. So, kailangan na natin siyang i-tune. Nakabit ang aking digital tuner. Siyempre, yung peklum. <laughs> so. Yan. Good as new. <laughs> So, ganun po ang pagkakabit ng string. So, that is our first two part of the lesson of our tutorial. So, I hope you have already changed your strings and tuned your bandurias. Because our next lesson will be learning how to play your bandurias. So, before you go, uh, please like, share, and subscribe my YouTube account. And also... Uh, like and follow our Facebook or Facebook page.